<laughs> That's just water. <laughs> I thought you put actually yeah. tea in here. No, oh, it's just a prop. That's fine. We'll we'll <laughs> fix that. We'll fix that in editing. But. Okay. Okay. Um. Welcome back to Clumsy Dog. Which one's camera one? Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Clumsy Dog. So it's like super rainy and stuff out today. Um. So we're not really getting anything done. Um. It's also Christmas Eve, so you got to take some time off every now and then, I guess, right? Yeah. They tell me. Yeah, but, um, so, we have some stuff to do inside of the Sprout House where she's going to do her grow, what do you call them, starts? Yeah, plant starts. Plant starts. Um, we got some grow lights. Well, they're not grow lights. They're, what are they? They're, are, they're workshop they're light. lights. Yeah, they're shop lights. 5,500 lumen from uh, Harbor Freight. Um, we had one that we used last year and it worked really, really well. Okay. So we're just trying to fill it out. So we can hang that. That'll be something we can do today real quick. Um, what kind of... I heard you and Emma talking about plans for the woods. So, like, you need another campsite for something. I just see... She had said something about wanting another one of those big benches. Yeah, she wants you to okay. make another big bench out of, a, out of a log. Okay. So the biggest tree you can find and cut down to make a log out of, she wants that. Yeah, I make a, a, a bench out of it. It's just a big log. And then you saw off half of it so it won't roll around. That's all it is. <laughs> really all it is. But it's good for in front of a camp campfire, you know. Um, you could make some little end tables, too, with logs. Yeah, if it's big enough, we could just make, yeah. Yeah, to go with Little it. stools and stuff. This thing, I was thinking about, like, so we have the problem. Just drink your water. <laughs> I just dunk it on her face. <laughs> oh, we'll edit that out too. Please be, do. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll fix that in editing. Um, the um, so I was thinking. So we have we have issues. So when we clear the trees down, I don't know if y'all have been uh, tracking, but we're left with a lot of stumps. And you might think, well, just grind the stumps down. It's like that's fine. But that doesn't really do anything for the roots and like we want to grow stuff so the general strategy with the stumps is to just ignore them and to uh as uh, i dig out and manually till the beds i just deal with every big root that comes across right right yeah. so but i had some input on what maybe we could do with the stumps so the smaller ones, so anything like 8 inches, 10 inches in diameter and smaller, uh, just run them as close to the ground as possible with the sawzall blade and just, you know, that's fine. And the bigger ones actually try to level them off at the top and make a bunch of little work tables and benches and seating areas around the garden. Because, I mean, we use them as seats all the time yeah. anyway, so why not make them look a little bit nicer? So that might be something that we do with it. But I'm still absolutely just going to work around the roots. And um, grinding them down doesn't do anything for the roots, so it really doesn't help there to spend no. time and effort to grind a stump down. The, the saplings still just come out. Yeah, and the saplings still come out place. of them anyway, so... But over time, it'll be fine. And honestly, I think that the earthworms are attracted to the nourishment that the roots are taking in on the old big trees. So if we get rid of them, the earthworms might, you know, go somewhere too. But so what kind of stuff are we trying to plant this year over there? I know you said something about making it into an orchard. I was thinking about orchard, uh, but I think probably we will use it for vegetables. I would like to can and freeze and freeze dry as much as possible this year okay so like last year yeah but but more but more always yeah. more always, always more. need more Never because we still have to buy a lot of vegetables at the store and i would like to not have to do that yeah that's bull crap yeah if right. we can grow it i'd rather grow it yeah i feel like the only thing we need to get at the store is like wheat or something yeah flour and salt and pepper i'm not going to start a salt mine i wonder if we could grow pepper 
Huh. I'll have to look into that. Yeah. Well, we, you know, you can make that poblano powder. Yeah, yeah but I mean, like, like. No, I know, like pepper. black pepper. Yeah. 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 But I'm just saying, like, you can do that. So why, why couldn't you? You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we'll look into it. We'll let you know. Yeah. Let you know what she comes up with on that one. Um. So as far as like other processing of the trees. The general strategy is the the real limmy thin parts is going to get thrown into uh, I'm sorry, I just trust me because this is water. <laughs> I thought it was going to be coffee or something. <laughs> like coffee would have been great. Um, but like so, the limmy parts of the trees we're going to put in the uh, the kindling piles and just like the brush line. Um, Anything a little bit bigger, we're going to split it into the firewood. Um, I got a lot of my co-workers that are interested. Their houses run off of it, so we give it to them, sell it to other people. Um, and then the really big, straight parts of the trunk, I want to leave that for outlining the beds. I think that worked really well. Um, kind of just a delineation point of, like, this is where the garden bed is at. And also because we live on this hill, like it's a mountain. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but like everything's at an angle. Uh, that's not because we don't know how to set up a camera, <laughs> but because we literally live on the side of, uh, like we we're this close instead of being clumsy dog acres to being clumsy dog foothills or yeah. something like that. Rolling hills acres. Or <laughs> rolling, rolling, hills rolling or... acres or something like yeah. that. Um, I wanted acres. green acres, but apparently that's been taken before. Well, it's because it's the place to be. That's, did you just think of that? That's awesome. Um, I could probably make up a song on the fly. Green Acres is the place to be. Okay. You're good. <laughs> um, so, as far as... Uh, yeah, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So, the uh, using the long tree trunks as a, almost a... Uh, what do, you, what do you call it when you do the ground, like trellising? Is that what it, you call it? Like little retaining walls while the mud yeah, slips over? Yeah, yeah, little retaining walls. Where you're like trellising it's, the yard You're basically or something. just making a border, but it keeps the uh, erosion from yeah, yeah. washing away all of our fertilizer. And right, well, because we put like fertilizer yeah. and dig it up and we loosen the soil up, and it just wants to sprint down the hill. The top so soil. now, right, the topsoil. Right, thank you. So then now it'll run against the big tree trunks and kind of pool up and it'll level itself off and um also i keep seeing the earthworms hanging around it while it decomposes and yeah. eating on it so i gotta say i mean i think that's why our garden up there was so dang successful even though when we tested the ground up there it was it lacked what nitrogen it didn't have nitrogen it had the other stuff but nitrogen was sorely lacking and nitrogen's the poop yeah Man, we got it's so much poop. It's what everything needs to grow. We have so much poop. But we grew, we've never grown squash before. We've never been able to actually harvest squash, and we got a lot of squash. The bees did really good. The bees loved it up there. They really did good yeah. up there fertilizing the squash, too. It went crazy up there. Those elephant ear things were so, they were like that big. Yeah. Um, and it's so invasive, man. Like, it was taking over the bed and taking over... We need... So, well, let's talk about that. Things we could do better. Right. Literally everything we could do better. <laughs> everything we do yes. could be better. Everything we're doing is a... I don't know. Let's find out. You know? And you take your best shot on what you learn online. Yeah. And then you see what actually works and what doesn't work. So, what could we... What did... What lessons did we learn? I learned that we should not try to half A the irrigation system. Yes. We should actually do uh, the real one because one of the beds, it was really good on, worked really right. good. And then we ran out of key components and instead of waiting until we got them, we just <laughs> just threw yeah. some stuff together and ended up having a terrible time. Also, we learned, put the irrigation system out first, then plant around it. Right. We planted all whimsically through the beds and then we're like we should have an irrigation system yeah and we come back through and now we have to make it match our ridiculous while, spacing while trying to not kill baby plants while trying yeah. not to squash plants we lost a yes. lot i stepped on a lot yeah we lost several like that yeah and then some things didn't get water right they didn't get enough water got too much yeah. water so 
So I would say that's a really good lesson yeah. is we, we need to plan that and then plant. Right. Um, I need to run water up the mountain. We need to get a legit hydrant up there. Yeah. I think I can neck down this hydrant and get enough water pressure up there. So that'll be fun for us. Um, well, we do all the hard stuff around here. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, what else could we learn? Uh, things that require similar water need to be planted together. Right. That's why our watermelons did not do well. They tried really, really hard and yeah. they made some precious little watermelons, but... And they were good for what we ate. Yeah, we, did, we tasted a couple of them, but they, because they were planted with the squash, mm -hmm. they kind of got too much water at critical periods. Well, the squash also, like, was very hogging of the sunlight, too. Didn't no, it? no, because we had the watermelons planted in the corner. Well, they not, got their own I, sunlight. I guess I don't know where the watermelon was at, but... No, that makes sense. If yeah. we plan, we should make a little drawing. Um, maybe I put that on. No, I'm not gonna put that on. But like, we have a drawing of what yeah, our stuff looks to, like, and then we better. can, then we can write down sure. like this here, this here, this here. Right. Um, I think we should cycle the beds more, but I don't know what that would mean. I just, I know we do the tomatoes and uh, what, what do you call them? The the nonstop party tomatoes. The, they just keep giving the little cherry tomatoes. Indeterminate. Yeah, indeterminate. Yeah. I know we do the indeterminate, so like they just party till it don't stop anymore. Right. Um, and I see, so in my mind that's like different, right? So you have, you have a definite harvest date, and then when it's done, it's done. You get it out of there. You get something new in, or you just keep getting randomly like you would just walk in from up there and have like two bushels of tomatoes and cucumbers. And then the next couple of days, like nothing, and then you would have like half of a bushel thing of it. Right. So it was very erratic on when we yeah. got the harvest yeah. and stuff, and which makes the freeze dryer and the canning and everything make a lot more sense. Kind of, unless you don't get enough on day one and you can't save it till day three. Right. So that's another thing we need to do. I need to time it better. I need to plant more cucumbers this year. Mm -hmm. We didn't have nearly enough cucumbers last year. They were better than the cucumbers the year before that were just crazy bitter. Like, we were able to yeah, keep them watered yeah, enough. Because the, apparently, uh, watering the cucumber, is that what we thought? Yes. It needs to be, it has to be consistently watered. Mm -hmm. If it gets too dry and then too wet or whatever, um, then they get bitter. Right. So, up there on the mountain with the irrigation system that we had was perfect. Yeah. The cucumbers, I don't think we had one bitter cucumber last year. Mm -mm. They were all good. Yeah. All, all, all season. Yeah. 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 No, it, yeah, the irrigation we had up there worked yeah. good. Um, I don't know what we were thinking with the we potatoes. Just need to make it better. Yeah, we have to do better with the potatoes. Why well, don't know, we just didn't mound them like we always do? I know. I don't I don't really know what was going on there. Well, I, yeah. We ran out of dirt. That's what it was. And then we forgot to get more. There's a lesson there. You know, get what you need. Get what you need and don't season. try to make it right. work. Plan. Plan, make a plan. Better. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, editing, we'll put it. We'll make it sound yeah. good what else what else how much are we trying to clear because there has for me at least there has to be a time when i switch gears from taking trees down to starting to till the ground and make beds and stuff like that well i think we have a pretty good border out there right now i think that's a pretty good addition to what we have well i need to clean up the place where we're at right now there's still too many trees up there because yeah. that's what happened right. with because I, there are a lot of trees got cleared, but then it turned into like we need the beds now because next week we're trying to plant. And it was like, yeah. well, okay, well I'm doing the beds. We can't drop any more trees on top right. of these fresh plants, so I need to go back and clean up some of that, and that'll open up a bunch of light as well. Yeah. And there's a bunch of spots up there that we didn't put any beds in because it wasn't going to right. be enough light. So we could shift. I don't know. It's December, so I mean, what you right. know. We have, what, three months left? No, January, December's the last March. of the year. Oh, you're talking before planting? Yeah, until planting yeah. starts. My year starts in March. Oh, okay. Mine starts in January. <laughs> I base everything on planting seasons. On gardening. <sighs> so I think that what we have going on up there in the woods 
where we're clearing now. Mm -hmm. I think we've got a pretty good border. We just need to finish cleaning that up around it and everything. Get ready for a fence. Oh, yeah. I didn't even spring. think about the fence. Dang and it. And we can, that should be what, maybe another month's worth What if of we work? make this part of the yard shorter and use that fence and just move it over there? No. Okay. That won't work. It would work. It would work. It wouldn't be ideal. I know. Okay. And then you can switch from that to clearing the rest of the trees well, in the, the mountain garden. Well, once the fence goes up, I can't drop any more trees. Right. Because I might hit the fence. Right. And that was another reason we have so many trees up in the mountain. Right. And we need. I need to. I need to close off the mountain. Yep. It's because I'm going to need to open up the fence to right. drop a couple of those trees. For sure. Um, just because they they want to go right down where all of our stuff's at. That should be easy though. We can just move a panel back up here. <laughs> it should be easy for us to do. Yeah, we can do that whenever yeah. it's not raining, unless we need to do it right now. Right? No, we don't need to do okay, it. Right we now. won't do it right now. Um. Yeah. No, that's solid. Solid plan. Solid plan. You know what you also do is one of them end of the year wrap ups. Like, how was our year? How was 2023 for us? How was 2023 for you? Did you have a good garden? Did you learn anything? Maybe you could share so we don't make the same mistake. Um, are you excited about 2024? Yeah? I'm a little excited for 2024. Um, should be interesting. Anyway. Oh, I was thinking about the garden again. Did I, hear, did I hear something about peanuts? Yes, we're going to plant peanuts. I have the seeds in there. Want me to go get the seeds? No. I need to check on the children, too. I don't hear anything. Uh, exactly. No, they're fine. <laughs> okay. We're going to plant peanuts. We're going to plant kohlrabi. What's that? Who's kohlrabi? It's a, um, it's like a root vegetable. I, cool I Robbie? Cole Robbie. Cool Robbie. Something like that, yeah. I got the purple kind for the oh, girls. Oh, like, of course. They're going to love it. Of course, purple. It's it's supposed to be similar to a radish. Why not just plant a radish? Oh, we're going to plant some of those, too. Right. The deer are going to hop the fence and go to town on that stuff. A thousand percent. They didn't last year. You we didn't have radish up there, though. I did. Oh. I planted some radishes. I planted them among the squash. To try to control the pests. So that's that's another plan for next year is we are going to focus on planting herbs with our vegetables to try to control the pests as much as possible naturally. Um, well, garlic not, does a good job with that. Garlic does a good job. I think dill does a pretty good job. Um, that's actually why I planted the radishes. I planted it among the squash because it's supposed to help deter the squash bugs i feel like we could do better with our weed control too because yes the weeds take away a lot of the nutrients from the plants yes. we want to grow and even as excellent as like those harvests were and stuff probably be even better if all the the weeds were gone i'm not right. saying i don't live in a world where i think it'll have no weeds in there but you know i don't know but here's to uh 2024 growing season yep. come Watch us uh, make these mistakes. You want to add anything? Like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> water. And <comment. laughs> you want some more water? Stop. <laughs>